Uh, hello guys, welcome back to another vlog from Vlog Corner here. Hey, I'm my humble host, Mike Mo. Here for another vlog. Um, here in my humble area, my humble, um... Second, just want to make sure my door's shut. Oh, so no one can hear me talk. Okay. Well... If you guys hear a little skipping, it's because, um, because of that. Oh, hey, yeah, uh, yeah, guys, welcome back to another vlog from Vlog Corner here. I'm your humble host, Mike Mo, here on, uh, here on a Saturday night at about 1030. Um, uh, yeah, guys, it's another one of these vlogs. I believe it's day 877. And, um, and I believe we're two or three away from a thousand, um, to be honest, and that is actually quite, um, astonishing, quite, quite frankly. Um, so yeah, I can't believe it. I might be one or two away from, from the big millennium mark. Um, even though I have only 877 of these gems, my vlogs and my subscribers. Um, but yeah, I'm coming to you. Uh, from my Galaxy S8 Plus. For those of you who have just subscribed um, and everything, uh, I pretty much uh, record on my S8 Plus. I used to record on an iPad um, second generation that I got back in 2012. It is sitting there on the shelf. It is not charging, right? It is not charged though. I haven't charged in a while and I will have to do that sometime tonight. So, um, so I just wanted to dedicate a vlog to some of the devices that I've used. Well, part of this vlog to dedicate some of the devices that I've used for recording. Um, I used a tab seven point, a tab A, a tab E 7.0 to record. I've also used my iPad. I used my iPad back in 2015 and then I switched to um, then, uh, then for the la next half and for on, I would use my Samsung 7.0 tablet. Uh, and then I got a tab E and I'd also record with my, uh, Motorola Max 2, Droid Max 2, because I own that for, uh, less than a year. And then I traded it in. Um, and then I got this and I've almost had this two years my Samsung S8. Uh, so yeah, so if you guys want to know why the quality is a little different from the videos at the beginning of my channel to the to the present, it's because I've used certain uh, media. So my videos can go up to 2K. Um, I, this is probably only going to go up to about 1080p, which is fine. Because, um, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's a, something that a lot of that a lot of media uses. I know people like 2K and everything, but you have to have the right camera for it and you, 4K and you have to have the right uh camera to do it. My phone can't tell the difference because it's only a 2K screen. Um so it can render up to 2K, but it can't render much after that and everything. My my uh switch can only render, render up to 1080p. Um, and that's fine because 1080p is standard for most of my things anyway. And most people use 1080p because that's the highest renderable anyway. Uh, I know that my, I know that the PlayStation will do it 720p, even though the graphics are really, um, really, I, even though I know, uh, um, well, actually I think you can go up to 1080p. I'm not sure. Depends on what you're using and what capture device you're using and what TV you run. Um, I know PS4 Pro can go up to 4K. So, yeah. So, currently I'm using an S8 Plus 2017 model, which I purchased almost two years ago. Um, if you guys are probably wondering, am I going to get the new S10? Am I going to get any of the new ones? No, I'm not going to get one after two years. I'm not dumping $900 billion zillion jillion dollars just for another phone i'm gonna keep this one for at least four years and then dump it off when something new and exciting comes along and um 
because I got this after it came out, actually. This came out um, April 17. Uh, I remember when it did come out, um, a lot of people were uh, saying a lot of things about it, and then I got it in October of 17 um, and everything, and I've used it to chronicle uh, a lot of things since then. Um, and it's been with me with some very, some very good moments and everything else. So, do I think... Uh, have I seen the S10 in person? Yes, I actually have. I actually, actually got a chance to handle one on Tuesday night, actually, this week. Um, very slim phone, actually. Very, very slim. I had to be very delicate with it because the owner, um... Usually the owners usually don't let these things go, but this guy, but the guy was willing enough to let me see it, so I could tap it in my computer, uh, get the DPC. I tap it in my computer, hand it back to him very gently, because I didn't want it breaking, because it's a new phone, and I don't want the fella to be out a uh, thousand dollars or so uh, for a new phone and everything else. So yeah, um, and if you guys want to know how I recorded audio on this in uh, my other Things I've either used headset, um, either regular headphone headsets that have a mic on them, or I've had this one since middle of last year, I'm going to say. Um, I got this in, um, I forget when I got this, but I got this um, mid to late last year, and I've been using it quite a bit, and other people have sort of been um, using the concept. I know Tom uses it now, and... Um, it's just a good thing to have. It's just one of those trends that I use so I can talk to you guys because um, it not only helps me uh, do my gaming videos, but it also helps me do my um, commentary as well to you guys. Um, second thing, I bought a visual novel uh, called Tokyo School Life. Boy, is it a bunch of fun. Um I like it so far. I will give my in-depth review. All I can say right now is I'm 11 chapters or episodes in. Basically, what you do is you're a American. You're an American. You're you're in an American um, exchange student who's in Japan for two months because you got decent grades, and you basically uh, try to befriend three girls that or high school age it's actually quite fun um usually a lot of people usually get these games um usually get it because they want to look at the girls and it's everything else but the game is so much more than that you actually get to interact with them and talk with them and you actually get to make choices and your choices actually influence which one you actually go along with and which route you go with um and it's actually pretty interesting because you guys get to because you get to see more in depth about the characters, and it's just not the same cliche romance. It's a romance visual novel because it was released on the fourteenth of February, um, which was last month, and um, it's uh, it's a pretty cool visual novel. And um, I'm in. Basically, what you do is, is you try to answer what I just found out is you try to um, you try to answer questions that the that the girls have there's three girls there's Oi, Karen and Sakura and each one of them has their own thing so um, so you try to follow each one and you and when you go a specific route you focus on them mostly I mean you talk to the other three the other two but you focus on the other two um you focus on the other two, and usually, um, and what I'll do is I'll play the game to a certain point, and then, um, and then I'll start over again, and I'll keep experimenting how to get the different routes. It, it's an entertaining game. It's actually pretty fun. Um, so if you do everything right, you can actually get all three endings. To, well, you can choose all three endings. I only got Karin's and Oi's. I didn't get Sakura's because I didn't answer the points. Very. I want to leave Sakura last because um, Sakura last actually because uh, 
the way Sakura is and everything is she reminds me actually of uh, April. So I want to leave her last so I can figure that out because uh, Sakura is actually into anime, manga, and, and she knows a good amount about the Japanese culture. So um, I want to go with her last. And then, so I'm actually going to go with Karin. It's actually a pretty good game and I'm looking forward to the rest of it. Um, it it's one of those things. All right, guys. My phone just went past 5%. Um, I've been here talking here anyway. i got to put it on the charger. But yeah, guys, um, I'll tell you how the game goes. I'll tell you how each route goes, right? how each route goes, and then I'll report back to you guys when I finish it and everything. Um, so yeah, as, a, as usual, guys, long live America. God bless America. Long live democracy. One with the Second Amendment. I meant to my grandparents' spirits. I meant to both of them. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Mike Camo here. Here on the 23rd of March 2019. Here for data entry 877. Peace out, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Don't go away.